Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and today I bring to you the sixth episode of my series, How to Mod. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mod, literally. So I'm going to show you how to mod games with eBoots and stuff, and I'm going to explain what eBoots are because I know a lot of you don't exactly know what eBoots are, so I will explain that. Um, I'll be showing you how to install three different kinds of menus. The most common menus that you'll ever see are SPRX menus, um, and I'll show you how to get those. I'll also show you how to do GSC menus for Black Ops 2, and for MW2, I'll show you how to get an FF menu. So for MW2, that's the most common one. So uh, in general, SPRXs are the most popular for Black Ops 2, GSCs are the most popular, and for MW2, FF menus are. Um, so for the SPRX and the GSC, I will be using Black Ops 2, and obviously MW2 for the FF one. Alright, so let's get right in. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get an SPRX menu first. So, it's not that common for Black Ops 2, I don't know if there's very many out there, but I know that there's one that's been made by Stank oh, Stanky Mods, and he's really cool, uh, he has a great YouTube channel, he makes great menu bases to help you learn, and I'm actually making my own SPRX menu that I'm learning off his menu base, so that's cool, go check him out, I'll leave his link in the description. Um, yeah, so the menu is right here, it's in the next gen update page, I'll link this in the description. Um, and here you'll see there's a bunch of different eBoots that you could download. So let me just explain what eBoots are. Okay, so basically a game comp is comprised of many different files. So if you like open up your game direct directory and stuff, you'll see there's lots of stuff. But the main file that the game re revolves around is the eBoot. It's kind of like an EXE or like an application on your computer basically. So that's really the biggest portion of the game. That's what it runs off of. Everything else is kind of just, you know, in, in addition to that. So, the most important part of a game that kind of controls the whole thing is the eBoot, alright? It's kind of like the whole application, um, so, yeah, that's the eBoot. Um, and when we're modding games, a lot of the time we mod the eBoot. So, the SPR SPRX menus, we're always modding the eBoot, and we're also um, put placing an SPRX file in a certain directory of our PS3. So, I'll explain how SPRX work. Basically, um, you get an eBoot that doesn't actually have any mod menu on it, but then you also have this SPRX file, and the SPRX is actually what has the mod menu inside it. So what you do is you take the eBoot and you put it inside your game's directory. And this eBoot um, is coded so that it knows it has to look for a file, um, the SPRX file, when it runs. So it says, if I'm running, then I, I want to run SPRX with me. So basically, uh, we put the SPRX file inside the TMP folder of our PS3, which I'll show you. And so the eBoot, when the game starts, it looks inside the TMP folder for that specific SPRX menu, and it runs it with it, with itself. Alright, so that's how uh, SPRX menus work. So basically you have an eBoot, and you have an SPRX file, the eBoot runs the SPRX. So, um, how do you know what eBoots to get? Well, first off, every single game has its own region. If you live in the United States, you'll see that most games begin with BLUS. B -L -U -S. Okay, if you live in Europe or wherever, um, it, it most likely will start with BLESS, B-L-E-S. So my Black Ops 2 game is BLESS, even though I live in America, it's because I got the backed up version. So make sure you know which version your game is. If you're on DEX, which if you're watching this series you probably aren't, but if you are by any chance then uh, it doesn't matter what region it is. DEX is universal, alright? So first you gotta choose the actual region. Also, you have to note if the menu is up to date, and it's for the current version of the game. So I'll scroll up, and um, this is for 1.19. I don't remember exactly where I saw that, but I know that this is for 1.19 for sure. So if you find a menu that's for made for 1.18, 1.17, whatever, it's not going to work. It has to be for the correct version of the game and for the correct region. So make sure you, you have those two things, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and just download uh, the eBoot we need. So my PS3 is on Kex, so I'm going to download the correct one. So my game is Bless 071717, so I'm going to click on this. Alright, so unfortunately this menu has been taken down off of Mediafire, but I have found links for DEX, um, so I'm going to be using my DEX PS3 for this. Um, 
generally you won't you won't use S tier Xs for Black Ops 2 because there's not so many of them. I'm just doing this on Black Ops 2 for organization purposes. Um, but generally you'll find them for MW3 and GTA 5 and stuff like that. So there'll be plenty of those. So don't think they're only for Dex. There there are uh, many is for for CEX, but. Uh, unfortunately, all the links on this page have been taken down, and all I have found is just the Dex one um, on a different YouTube video. So I'll upload that anyway, um, if you are on Dex. Um, but otherwise, you could just find other SPRXs for um, other games. Alright, so when you download it, you should have, like, maybe a RAR file. Just go ahead and, you know, drag the folder out of it. Delete the RAR. You go inside it, and you'll see two things in here. eboot.bin and inception.sprx. Well, this is the name of the menu. Um, the, the names will be different. So, again, this is the eBoot. This is the menu. All right, the eBoot yeah, runs this menu. So I'm going to be using my Dex PS3, um, and this will work on that. So I'll be right back. OK, so to install an SPRX menu, first got to open up um, CCAPI. And then my PS3's IP is 192.168.2.6, as you can see right here. So I'm going to connect to that. Connect, connected. Um, all right. So once you're connected, you could go into inside FileZilla, which I'll have a link for this in the description. Um, and then type in your PS3's IP right here. So 192.168.2.6. Then you can click Quick Connect, and it should connect. Alright, so then you go inside dev underscore ac0, uh, go to game in lower caps, and find um, your Black Ops 2 game, or whatever game you're trying to mod. So mine is bless01717. So I'm going to go in here, and click on usrdir, and you should find an eboot.bit inside here. So what you're going to do is find the SPRX menu eboot, it's right here inside the folder then drag it over inside FileZilla. Then it'll ask you to overwrite, click OK on overwrite. And I'll wait for this to finish up. All right, so once it's done, go back by clicking the like, double dot thing. Um, and then scroll down to a folder that's called TMP. Click on TMP, go find the SPRX file. So this the name will vary uh, d depending on what SPRX menu you're using. So this SPRX menu is called Inception, so he, that's what he, why he called it that. So just drag this inside the TMP folder. Now you should see that it's, it should say um, Inception.SPRX or whatever you're using inside here. All right, um, so once that's in, you could go ahead and start up Black Ops 2. Okay, so I'm not going to be playing online, although this should work online. I'm just going to go into local. And simply just start the game. Okay, so I'm going to go in. And as you can see, there's little instructions. I can move around already. So that means that the SPRX has worked. So you could just click up or whatever it says. And here's the menu. So you could just scroll around, have fun. All right. Inside, whatever, God mode, unlimited ammo, cool, whatever. So go back, okay. So there we go, SPRX worked. So this is the same concept for any game. Like I said before, so this MW3, still do the exact same thing. Replace the eBoot, then place the SPRX file inside your uh, TMP folder, and then you'll get this. So uh, it has worked successfully. Uh, and now we're going to move on to GSC menus. Alright, so with the GSC menu, you, you're probably going to want to have a clean eBoot, or not clean, maybe you know you could have anti-ban on it, which I'll talk about later, um, but you don't want to have an SPRX menu already in there, you don't have like any of that, you want to have something clear, um, or else it'll interfere with the GSC menu. So scroll up to where it says Game Data Utility, um, sorry if you can hear my phone buzzing, but um, scroll up to Black Ops 2, click Triangle on it, and click Delete. Click yes, and it should delete. Click back, 
Now you can start up the game again. And it'll ask you to update it. And all you're going to have to do is just update the game, and it will give you a fresh eBoot and all that. So, um, again, if you have an SPRX eBoot with menu, um, it's going to interfere with the GSC menu. So, you don't want that. You don't want to have two menus in at the same time. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, it might freeze or something. Um, but yeah, so just update it, and I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so the game updated, and I have a fresh eboot.bin and all that, so um, now I could just leave the game on, and I'm not sure how to get GFC menus. So, you're going to need something called an injector, it's a tool. Um, I'm going to leave this in the description. My computer finds this as a virus, and it always asks me to like delete it and stuff, but it's really not a, not a virus, I'll open it up for you. Um, there isn't anything wrong with it. My computer is just uh, really annoying, but or antivirus. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> we're going to be using CCAPI. Um, if you're on Dex and you know how to use CMAPI, I still suggest using CCAPI because this injector uh, works a lot better with CCAPI. I tried doing TMAPI before and my game just froze, or this tool just froze, and it really works. So, um, and do CCAPI. You want to enable anti-ban, um, and what anti-ban is is basically um, if you've tried modding Black Ops 2 on your own and you said that you got banned really really quickly that's called insta-ban and that happens very often on games on the newer Call of Duty games starting from Black Ops 2 and above so Black Ops 2, Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, all that so all those games will insta-ban you that's why you gotta use an anti-ban eboot um, and then it won't happen um, unless you of course play zombies or something um, then you will still get banned but I haven't actually put an anti ban in. I'm not, I'm not going to be playing online right now, but it's always safe to have this enabled as well because this works pretty well, I found. So with CCAPI, just click Connect and Attach. And then go to your IP address, then hit Connection, and then click Allow if it asks. And I should say Control Console, Connect and Attach with Anti Ban, and your PS3 should beep. Click OK. Um, now go over to your PS3 join a game or whatever, I'm going to be doing local. Um, start whatever game, it doesn't matter, just start a game. And then also have your uh, injector out. Um, you can go in whatever. Now what you want to do is, uh, first of all you have to get a GSE menu, I forgot to show you that. So I got Allegiance V3. If you open it up, you have to locate a file that's called underscore client IDs, IDS.gsc. This is what it looks like. If you find a GSC menu with a different name, rename it to this. Okay. So I'm using Legion's V3 again. So all you gotta do is click Inject GSC and locate the file. So mine's on my desktop, Allegiance, right here. Click Open while you're inside your game. All right, so I'm in the game right now. Click Open and then wait a second. And you should get this message, and your PS3 should beep, and you should get the message on your PS3 as well. So, you just put this aside. Whatever, you can't really minimize it, which kind of sucks. Um, what if I do this? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so, now I'll just exit the game. And after the game exits, all we're going to do is start up another game. Alright, so we're in the lobby, just click Start Match. Of course, you could customize the match to be however you want, but I don't really care right now, so... Start match. And this of course works online as well. If you guys want to host your own lobbies in public sessions, your uh, your uh, NAT type has to be open, um, not moderate or anything. So go in, and as you can see on the bottom left corner it says L1 and circle to open, so I'm going to do that. There we go, there's the menu. You can move around. So the GSC menu worked. Cool. Uh, now I'm going to move on and show you how to install an FF menu to MW2. Okay, so what I got was a patch underscore MP dot FF file. So this is what any FF mod menu will look like for MW2. Find the one that you'd like. I'm using Joker Mods menu. I think this one's pretty common. Um, so yeah, I'm using this. So I'll go back into FileZilla. Um, and I'm going to have to reconnect first of all. So I'm just going to disconnect from this because I restarted my PS3. Um, so I'm going to connect, connected, 
Now, quick connect again. Establish new connection. All right, so going to dev underscore hdd0, go into game, and find your uh, MW2 game. So mine is blues30377. Okay, FF files don't matter um, what what region your game is on. So I mean, it does matter what what like version of your game it is, but the region does not matter. It's the same for all. It's not like the eboot. So going to USR DIR, looks familiar. And well, we have the eboot bin in here, but we're not going to touch that from W2. We're just going to replace this patch underscore mp.ff. So take that, drag it into FileZilla, click overwrite, and you're all done. So now, go ahead and go into Modern Warfare 2. Clearly this is, uh, it's working. So I'm going to go into split screen. Now I can just start the game. And this concept is very similar to SPRX menu. It's just we're replacing a uh, patch underscore mp.ff instead of an eboot and an SPRX file. So I'm just going to go right in. And I need to figure out what button to press. So in this case, it's the up button. There we go. Uh, I don't really know. What... So R3 is actually click it. Cool. So you see everything is working. Let's just try laser, and then I'll finish up with this. Okay. Well, I don't see a laser, but whatever. That's. Or I. I don't think I clicked the right button to actually activate it. But nonetheless, you see it works. So again, you can use whatever menu you want as long as it's the right extension and the right kind of menu. SPRX menus will work for any game. Um, you have, just have to find the correct ones. GSC menus. I. I think they might be for other games besides Black Ops 2, but very very commonly used in Black Ops 2 so I know a lot of you guys wanted to know how to do that so uh, next video I'll show you how to like use RTM tools and stuff because it would make this video too long if I added that in so that's next video so thanks for watching if this is helpful please leave a like uh, give me your opinion in the, in the comments um, tell me what you want to see so yeah thanks for watching I hope I covered enough like enough types of menus because there's not a whole lot besides SPRX, GSC, and FF. Um, so yeah, see you later.